Okay, number 10 is the type of edge bevel. And this is a factor that is really quite important. And it took me a long time to understand the difference that it can make. The single bevel versus the double bevel. And it gets a lot of discussion from a lot of people nowadays. But the type of edge bevel that you have has a huge effect on the amount of damage it can do. If you think of a typical single bevel, most are flat on one side and have a 25 degree taper on the other. So there is a total angle of 25 degrees. Double bevels are usually 25 degrees on both sides or a 50 degree angle. Even if you drop it down to 20, you would still have a 40 degree angle. So what you're getting with the single bevel is a much thinner edge. Now you do have to have quality steel in there for this edge to hold up. So a good single bevel is going to have to be of a quality material and it's going to be a fairly expensive edge. There's just no way to make that quality of steel without it costing. But it's well worth having for the advantage that you gain. Of course, you do get the bone splitting ability of the single bevel because the pressure on one side of the bevel and with no opposing pressure on the other side causes the head to rotate. And it's this rotation that tends to pop bones open, to split bones, where a double bevel head has to push his way through a bone. It just goes right straight through brute force. But that uses up a lot of your error force, and errors don't carry a lot of force. So if you can pop that bone without using up much of the error force, you save a lot of penetration potential in your error setup out the other side. There's some other advantages that people don't think about. A single bevel, the bevel itself on the edge, has its own mechanical advantage. It's another simple machine. So the higher that mechanical advantage of the bevel, the deeper it can slice into a tissue. When there's a given amount of tissue uh, tension between the blood vessel and the edge of the broad head. So the thinner that edge is, if everything else is equal, the thinner that edge is, then the deeper it's going to slice into the blood vessel just because of its mechanical advantage. And that's something very often overlooked in single bevel heads.